Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> they say three times is a charm. <laughs> Has to be. I tend to believe that. Okay. That's because it's no longer a coincidence. None. This is no longer a coincidence. We've been talking about this man all day. Right. I called him out by his name in the hallway. People didn't realize how close we were. Because you really <laughs> didn't say the name. I was standing behind you, and all I heard was CP. I was like, really? <laughs> like, oh, y'all went to high school together. It's yep. different. Right. Yeah, that's what Sway used to call me in high school. <laughs> CP. CP. And then it stuck. All these other people call him CP now. That's right. I said, CP is Sway. And then what did you say? You, I said, oh, you don't, I'm not one of those guys you have to be like, it's Sway. By the way, some people in my life have to say that because I'll be like, I don't know who it is, but it was you, man. <laughs> like, oh, don't tell me it's Sway. I know it's Sway. <laughs> oh, I want to make sure, man. <laughs> yeah. and, no, so let's, let's do this, let's do this properly. DB. Mm. Yes. Share with the audience some of this man's accolades. Mm. Well, I, I'm going to start from the beginning because I think people, if you've never heard or seen Chris on the show in the past, because it's been, what, like eight years since the first time you came on the show was 2016. Wow. Whoa. Sheesh. We really yeah. are friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like I want we people to understand, like, this guy went from working at Bubba Gump Shrimp Company in mm -hmm. Maui, waiting <laughs> tables just trying to get by like everybody else. He gets discovered. Then he moves to Hollywood to pursue his dream. He ends up living in an apartment, uh, what, a block away from where you now have a Hollywood star. Yes, sir. Jeez. You starred in two of the top five highest grossing films of 2023 last year. Wow. I mean, <laughs> make look at God. <laughs> <laughs> that, that in itself, just telling that short little span of your career is amazing. You're an awesome guy. You've been on the show. You're friendly with everybody. We yeah, love you. Yeah. You're back on the show. And now you're starring. You're voicing the role of Garfield, which is in theaters tomorrow. Please welcome Woo! him back, a love citizen. Please welcome Chris Pratt. Chris hey! Pratt! Hey! Hey! <laughs> oh, what? thanks, man. Great. What an intro. Oh, good, man. Thank you. Thank you. Nah, Thank man. You. Great, so man. Homeless in Maui, huh? Well, you're never Hawaii. homeless uh -huh. when you're like, you know, when you got a van. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> With gas in it. Yeah. Now, now, I remember talking about that, and, and I think it's really appropriate, man, uh, when the, 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 the struggles and the challenges you experienced when you was in Hawaii. And I thought it would be no better person to really reflect on the fact that um, coming recently, in the, uh, maybe in the next month or so, I'll be going possibly to Hawaii, and I wanted to know if you knew any good vacation spots that I could... Uh, <laughs> <You know what? laughs> Oh, what would be the best really hotel? Yeah, I'm thinking about really going. He's dead yeah, for real. I'm, yeah. Like, I could show you where I'm looking right now, but what would you recommend? Well, it depends kind of on the vibe. What are you looking mm -hmm. for? Like, if you're looking to go and have a really good time and have good restaurants and good food, that's one thing. If you want to be, like, in solitude and, mm -hmm. and in peace and, like, have, have a spiritual experience, that's another. You know, if you want to go and, you know, God, the, you can really find it all. It okay. depends on what you're looking for. Chris. I mean, I know it's Fleet Week in New York, so if you want to go like to Oahu and see, you know, Honolulu and see like Pearl Harbor and okay. that kind of thing, that's another vibe. So uh -huh. it kind of depends on what you're after. Chris, yeah, the, what, what, what's my vibe? He's looking for a place where he could take his shirt off and won't be embarrassed. What island is that? <laughs> okay. What island? Well, I will say. <laughs> Oh, he can take his shirt off and not be embarrassed on land. any island. That's my right. man CP. That's, That's my right. man CP. <laughs> Stop playing with me. But if you want privacy, <laughs> you know what's a really great island is Lanai, and it's it's a lot of people don't know about it. There's a there's a really uh, fantastic hotel there. Mm. Um, I think it's a Four Seasons Hotel, and that's pretty much all there is yeah. on that island. Oh, right. I actually had my honeymoon there. Catherine and I went oh. there. Oh, it nice. is way, way laid back. Like, a small island, not a lot to do other than just chill, and no paparazzi. Because if you, it, one of the unfortunate things about Maui, <laughs> having gone back, it's such a trip, actually, yeah. to go back some 20-something years later. Yeah. And then on the beaches I used to, like, live on, uh -huh. now if I go there, someone's like, Taking your picture. There's a lot of paparazzi in Hawaii. So, did you make any of those beaches more famous? Uh, do, do people use that as this is where Chris Pratt right. was? <laughs> Chris was drunk on this beach for an entire year. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind, man. You ain't got to answer that. You know, yeah. you know. Well, uh, you know, one of the the places where we stayed was uh, really close. Well, it was in uh, Lahaina, okay. you know, and so La a lot of Lahaina burned down recently. I that's right. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, so yes. That, that's another thing. You can go back, if you go to Maui, there are great places, you know, the Lahaina side burned, but there are really great places to say, stay in uh, on Maui. 
Okay. If you, you know, it kind of depends on your vibe. If we want to like offline, I could tell you if you're interested in going. Yeah, I'm definitely going to mm-hmm. offline. Thank mm-hmm. you, CP. Yeah. You know, we got each other's numbers, so I'll just yeah. I'll right. shoot you a text. <laughs> that's what's up. <laughs> 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 that's what's up. <laughs> I love Etsy. this dude, man. Um, Samuel Jackson. Mm. <laughs> Who's wow, made more wow. money in the box office, you or him? Oh, him. Okay. <laughs> He's the leading, the highest grossing box office star of all time, I think. Wow. And, and it's not even close. You have to see how many projects he's done, too. Like, uh-huh. his, yeah. his filmography is ridiculous. Yeah. Is it's, that a goal? Right. Like, or, you don't think about that, do you? Uh, I didn't think about it until someone brought it up to me, and they're yeah. like, Samuel L. Jackson's the highest grossing movie star of all time. Um, you know, there are, there's not a ton of tangible goals, really. Yeah. You know, in the, mm. When you think about Hollywood, you think about... Um, Becoming an actor, you know, there's a small handful of things that from the outside you could go, wow, that'd be really cool. Uh-huh. You know, what, winning an Oscar or winning a Golden Globe or, mm-hmm. you know, um, Hollywood, uh, Hollywood star uh-huh. or, you know, uh, hosting SNL. These kinds of things that you see, you're like, wow, God, how to- how trippy would it be to be able to do that one day, you know? Mm-hmm. But other than that, it's just like, it's for me, it was always like an on-off switch. And, and the success was be... Mm. Am I still waiting tables mm-hmm. or not? Mm. And if I'm paying for my lifestyle That's through acting, that was success. Okay. And so it's been like that for twenty plus years now. So do do so to make it, what does you know, we use that expression, I made it. Right. right. You know, what does that mean to you? It's mm. I, it, it it's a constant it's a it's an interesting um question. I it's it's incrementally my perspective has 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 shifted over time and it's been small incremental steps getting to where i am right now but making it was was the you know the first time i the first time i made it Mm -hmm. i was in a commercial and my Mm -hmm. friends from my hometown were gathered around the tv like dude we saw you in that carl's jr commercial you made it (laughs) and i was like hell yeah (laughs) and then and then it was the biggest one was um you know, there's getting your SAG card, there's getting representation, mm, there's all yeah. these little steps that you have to do in order to make it. But what the big thing is essentially like, I did a TV show called Everwood back in 20, mm-hmm. 2003, maybe. Oh, wow, twenty one years ago, and I bought and I bought my mom a house, and that's I was like, that's that's wow. that, that's that was cool. oh, man, like, that's TV. when I felt yeah. like yeah. I made it. Okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was wondering about that too because you have modest beginnings you know talking about your time in um maui when you first started getting gigs in hollywood paid gigs were you was it difficult for you to feel like you could actually spend that money oh no oh okay. (laughs) (laughs) no no i was under the impression that i would never run out of money the first Mm. paycheck i got i was like are you serious i mean i you know i had lived on very little money for a long time so the first big job i got i remember was it was a, it was called a Schedule F job, and this was a like a TV movie. I got paid seventy five thousand dollars, and I was like, I was like, I'm ne- <laughs> I'm never gonna wait again. Fuck <laughs> you, bitches! <laughs> I am leaving. <laughs> and then about two months later, I was like, Where'd that money go? <laughs> I went back to Maui. I went to Australia. I traveled the world. I was uh-huh. like, Well, I'm gonna probably invest. I'm probably gonna get a yacht. I don't know what. I, I didn't know how. That was just a an a crazy amount of money to me. Yeah. I never mm-hmm. could have possibly imagined making that amount of money, and it went very quickly. And mm. um, so then. It's like, uh, you know, slowly your life gets a little bigger yep. and it costs a little bit more money. And then you, you know, I was, because also I was never, we never had any money growing up. No one ever taught me financial literacy. Yeah. Right. I didn't know that what part. to do with money. I, uh-huh. It was like, it would come in, I would spend it. You know what I mean? And it took a, it took a good amount of time for me to kind of stop and say, all right, I got to get wise about this. I have to think about what am I going to do? How am I going to? How am I going to get to the point to where if I stop working one day, I'll still be okay? Yeah. My family will be okay. So, mm-hmm. like, kind of coming up with a financial literacy plan, uh, you know, later in my life was sort of one of the steps of me growing up. Word. You talk about getting to a point of that. Have you gotten to the point yet at this level of you don't have any nerves or nervousness going on to a set or a new job? Um you know, just stepping in front of that camera or even possibly one day behind the camera directing. Uh, how do you still deal with it at this level? I get far fewer nerves now than I ever did before. Mm. I feel I feel pretty comfortable 
in this and they say it takes what 10,000 hours of doing something yeah. before you master it mm-hmm. you know you guys are probably nervous the first few times you came on to do the show do you still get nerves sometimes like today's day. big for us yeah. you know yeah. like we knew you would come in we have patty labelle later on that's like cool. we, i don't know if it's nerves or excitement it's, right it's kind of hard I welcome it, though. to figure it out because mm-hmm. that shows you care yeah. You know, to me, it means you care. Like the nervous. I woke up this morning. I cared. I want to yeah, make sure. Care. Yeah, that you were you texting have me last t- night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, I want to make sure every. You know, this, 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 this is. We were talking off mic. The fact that we're all doing this is a privilege. It's amazing. Right. It's a blessing. It's a blessing. Yeah. You know, yeah. and yeah. so I want to make sure I treat it as such. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I think where I get nervous is early on because I was. It was weirdly. I was looking through my notes section yesterday. Mm-hmm. And on my phone, and one of the things was I found some like goals for this past for this year that I wrote at the end of last year, and one of the things was to make sure that I did the work to be prepared for a job that I had coming up mm-hmm. that I've now done. And I think where I get nervous is early on because I know that if I show up a hundred percent ready and prepared, that I'm going to be excellent. Yeah, you know. But it's the separations and the preparation. Mm-hmm. So so the nerves come for me early on is like a sense of of, of duty to get it right, you know, to, mm-hmm. to be a bit of a perfectionist when it comes to the preparation on mm-hmm. things. And then once you you pave the way for yourself, then you're just in your flow state doing your thing and you yeah. don't really feel nerves. You, Cause you're doing, if, at least for me, I feel like, look, I'm come, kind of covering goosebumps right now. Yeah, I see yeah. that the like, hairs are literally standing, standing up on your forearms. Then you're, then you're, when you're in that flow state, there's no nerves, there's no nothing. It's truly zen. You yeah. become the act of doing the thing you were made to do. Mm. Wow. But you got to get ready to do it or else, or else you can, you can really mess it up by being not prepared. By yeah, being not, not prepared. prepared. Chris Pratt is here. We're going to open up these phone lines. So it's, all of these phone lines yes. are calls for you. Lit. We're talking what? about the movie Garfield. Uh, this isn't the first time you played a character that has a complicated relationship with the father. Mm. Um, is that a coincidence, or is that a <laughs> is that a subject you like to explore? Well, it's definitely a subject I like to explore. Um, yeah, it's yeah. Peter Quill had a very complicated relationship with his father. Mm-hmm. Garfield has a complicated relationship with his father. Um, it's somewhat. I, I think you know. I, I gravitate towards these roles. I, maybe it's not a coincidence. I mm-hmm. hadn't really thought about that. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, my own relationship with my dad was 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 fairly complicated. So there's there's things to mine there. Mm-hmm. And, um, and uh, yeah, it's, you know, anytime you do a movie like that's an entertainment mo- entertaining movie for 90 minutes, you do need some sort of emotional through line in order for there to be a structure of an actual movie. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you yeah. kind of get tired of the same hackneyed joke over and over again. If it's not actually a... A drama. Should you strip away all the jokes and the spectacle, you need an actual dramatic through line. Mm-hmm. And this happens to be yeah, hinged on Garfield uh, feeling abandonment with his father. And so that's a yeah, that's a deep feeling. I think a lot of people could relate to. Yeah, mm-hmm. man, Garfield just got real all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to theaters, <laughs> the most dramatic interpretation <laughs> of a feline. <laughs> just want to uh, say again that Garfield will be in theaters tomorrow and I got to watch the movie uh, ahead of time and I, I was thinking about the ritual that I think most people in this room can remember of waking up for Saturday morning cartoons yeah, yeah. remember as a kid you don't really think about that there is a adult that is being paid that is working a job to voice these characters mm-hmm. like you're just thinking about the animation being entertaining right and now that I've been fortunate enough to do voice work uh, here at Sirius I kind of have an understanding of like the the uh, challenge of trying to make your voice distinct for whatever it is you're trying to do like kind of what you were just saying right and for Garfield even though you're Basically speaking, in your normal tone, yeah. there's still a, a Garfield tone that you need to kind of hone in on. So, did you think about like, all right, do I sound like me, or am I sounding like enough like Garfield that people are going to be like, oh, he's just speaking regular? Yeah, th- yes, I did. I thought about that. You know, I've done the the voices that I've done previously: L- Lego Movie, uh, Mario, Mario, and uh, and th- they were different. There was a distinction between those characters and myself. Mark Dindle, our director, had been working on this movie for a few years before he even brought it to me. Like, they had a lot of the animation done, a lot of the sequences were finished, and they were down the road on this job. And he said to me, I have pictured your voice coming out of Garfield's mouth since the <laughs> moment I knew I was doing this job. Mm. He was a fan of Parks and Rec, and he oh. really loved Andy Dwyer. And so for me, it was about finding the tone that was similar to the to Andy Dwyer which has his own who has his own voice 
and then putting a little bit of a yawn into it. Hmm. And, and, and But that only plays for about the first 15 or 20 minutes of the movie because he's a lazy, indoor cat, sarcastic, and that and, and, and sort of tired and hungry and eating a lot and just being kind of a dick. <laughs> but then he gets swept up on this epic outdoor adventure and there's a sense of urgency in his voice that you're not ever used to seeing in any of the multi, you know three or four panel comic strips. And so I went from like an Andy Dwyer voice to Andy Dwyer fighting for his life. And so those are the, the tones I was kind of working with. Nice. When, when kids meet you in person and, and find out that you're those characters, the voice of those characters, does it disappoint them? <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Transform me now. Probably. <laughs> Probably. They're too nice to tell me, but yeah, I'm sure it does. <laughs> Probably too, right? It's, uh, it, it's interesting, though, because the, the kids actually know that. They'll come up to me and they'll, and I'll be, you know, they'll be excited to meet me maybe from having seen me in Guardians of the Galaxy or, or Jurassic World, but then um, they will also know that I did the voice of these characters. And so it's oh. interesting to think that, because I never knew who did the voices of, right. Uh, right. Of, any of the of Disney. The, of the, of the, any of the yeah. Disney characters growing mm -hmm. up. But then again, they didn't necessarily always cast like well-known people to do those Facts. roles back yeah, then. Yeah, with Saturday was, Morning Cartoons too, yeah. same thing. We mm -hmm. didn't know, except for like Bill Cosby with Fat Albert or something. But yeah, other than right. that, you didn't That's know. Just right. You didn't know, yeah. right? I want to go to the phone lines, man. I said you were coming and the phone lines lit up. So, oh, yeah. uh, oh, that's nice. Turn on the uh, monitor, though. The monitor went out in the mid-interview. I didn't want to say nothing. But, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your transparency. Right, okay. go, to, go to line four. Oh, there we go. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you, DB. It's live. That's what I'm here for. here for. All right, uh, here's a good question right here. Keith in D.C., welcome to the what show, up, bro. Hey, Keith, what you got? Hey, thanks for having me. It's an honor to speak to Chris Pratt here. Okay. What's up, Keith? Hey, I got a, I got a, like a kind of a two-part question. We're talking about nerves. That was a great question, Heather. Thank you. And I'm all, about making, I'm all about making fear scared of me. You know, so I welcome those things like you guys. Mm. But uh, a lot of people are scared of A.I., and I'm wondering, like, Chris, do you think AI will ever have that impeccable comedic timing that you have? That can you use it as a tool <laughs> to riff on and, 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 and put on a show with AI live? Wow. Mm. That's a great question. Um, yeah, that is a really good question. Will AI be able to have comedic timing? I don't know, because I think comedy is constantly evolving. Comedy is constantly evolving amongst audiences and amongst comedians you're seeing that it's always changing so i don't know that ai will ever have comedic timing i think it's an incredible tool it'll absolutely be used but like all tools it's wildly important that we use it for the right reasons so it's dangerous because of how powerful it is but it's also has the potential to be really extraordinary I don't think it'll have comedic timing. At least not as good as mine, Keith. <laughs> okay, come on, Keith. You know, you know. that answer. That and, and Keith, Keith, so Keith, Keith, hold up, Keith. Movie. Oh, you excited for the I'm movie? About to take my, I'm about to take my, my girl, Jules. Jules called in a couple of weeks ago, and we are so excited for that. I look like my mom's dad, so I trigger my mom, so I'm really excited for this realness. Oh, and oh that's nice, man. I hope you and Jules enjoy it. Yeah, make sure y'all kiss in the middle of the movie. Oh. All right, you're a citizen there, Keith, all right? <laughs> Weird. Take that back. Take that back. Take that back. That's his lady. No? There's All right. Don't kiss him in the movie. All right, Leanna. And I thought Jules was his cat. I thought he said he's taking his cat to the movie. I heard something Well, he else. said Jules called in a couple of weeks. You think his cat out? <laughs> I didn't know. I just thought it just got weird. Listen, Garfield <laughs> can do interesting things, too. Okay. Jules, call up. All right, we got Leanna and uh, Peyton on the line from what Jordan. Up? Hey, Leanna. Peyton. Hey, hello, can you hear us? Yes, yes, we can hear you. You guys in Georgia? Well, we're actually traveling traveling from Atlanta down to Jacksonville because I am his grandmother, and I'm going to drop him off to his other grandmother. Oh, I like a, a healthy, That's blended cute. family. Yes. It, it, yeah, it's your grandmother. You're my grandmother? <laughs> it's getting weird. No. <laughs> no, please. I'm just, I'm just messing with you. I, so, you, you got it. So you're Peyton's grandmother. You're on a road trip. We are. And I listening to Shade, 45. Up. That's good. Is Peyton there? Always, how, always. How, how, Peyton is here. So how, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I told him to speak up. How old is he? 
Uh, oh, oh, Peyton. It's Peyton, Chris. Hey, what's up, Peyton? Peyton. I am Chris Pratt, Peyton, <laughs> and you are on a road trip with your grandmother. She sounds pretty cool to be listening to this radio station with you in the car on the way down to Florida, man. I hope you guys are having a nice road trip. What do you got for me, buddy? <laughs> There's going to be another Jurassic World movie. There sure is. Um, it, it was just announced most recently, so you can look forward to seeing that in the theater. I got to be honest, though. I don't think I'm going to be in it. But you got Scarlett Johansson and a guy and and, and some other really great actors. So, and most importantly, the dinosaurs are going to be there. So make sure you line up and get yourself a ticket. All right. That's too bad because you're his like you're like his uh, favorite. He had to, okay, sorry. He said second. Sorry. Wait a he minute. Lost to the second oh, place. Wait, who's his first? <laughs> who's his first? Oh, Tom Holland. Tom Holland. Oh, that's I that's, that's Spider Man. Oh, Damn. that's definitely Spider Man. Yeah, I get it. Uh, he's my favorite actor too. So we got that in common. Hey, hey, Peyton. <laughs> hey, Peyton. Make sure you see the Garfield movie. <laughs> All right. Starring Tom Holland. <laughs> Get out, Chris. <laughs> go on and go. go. Peyton, you a citizen, Peyton. <laughs> Yo, Chris. Come here, baby. That's that AI movie. couldn't have done that. that. AI, AI, AI couldn't have done that. Yeah. You got, you got time for one more call? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fun. Fun. This guy. Uh-huh. All right, okay. I'm, 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 I'm curating at this point. Uh, okay. All right. Chuck in Indiana. What up, Chuck? What up, hey, Chuck? Chuck? What's going on, morning crew? Sway in the morning. Long time listener, first time caller. We got a first time caller. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, tribe. I think Chris knows what that sound late, is. Late oh, be here. <laughs> <laughs> What's your question for Chris? Well, it's, it's I'm looking at IMDb, and I'm thinking back to your career about how right. you talked a little bit about it about coming up and putting in the work but you know you started off a lot as, as like the, the, the sidekick the buddy and you've really come along i mean parks and rec i mean i still if it's on tv i'm watching no matter what mm-hmm. my wife says um <laughs> and uh, and and a lot of stuff that you've done i just wonder how it's changed the way you are in the industry um how it is you have to work with the, the studios to pick who it is you are going forward and uh and and just uh, picking up on peyton you are my favorite uh Marvel character uh, just because you're so deep in all the parts that you play and we appreciate you Chuck man thank you brother thank you Chuck wow well yeah that's uh it's definitely been a wild ride and I'll tell you the biggest change for me you know for the early those roles you're looking about uh, looking at on IMDB that show me as a sidekick character Chuck I auditioned for everything mm. and I yeah. would do anything so all of those early roles were the result of someone else making the decision to hire me. Mm. And so I didn't have any control other than that other than just showing up and doing my best work in the audition. And that's the majority of that work. It probably wasn't until Guardians of the Galaxy until, you know, after the success of that film that I got into the position where I was the one who was saying yes and no. And that was the big change. And for me, the way I'm seen in the industry, to answer your question, or, or the strategy I have for that is absolutely dependent on a really great team that I've put together and have worked with for many years. A lot of them are sitting in this room right now. What's up, team? So Round I'm, of applause for the team, And man. a lot of women on his he team. Got a yeah. but women on his team. All women. Yeah. That's the, that, Chuck, that's the key. Yeah. Surround yourself with really wise women and let them help you make all the decisions. <laughs> no, no doubt. No doubt. Hey, Chuck, you a citizen, man. Super citizen. This way in the morning. Um, I'm going to do Thank one more, um, but look who I work around. Exactly. Yeah. I know. I get it. You get it, right? Swade CP. I don't have to do nothing here, CP. All right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I just show up for the big game now. That's what's up. Come That's on. That's what you do. Sean, you got the last question. What is it? Hey, good morning, crew. Uh, first time, long time as well, man. Nice. First time caller? Yep. First time yes, caller? Ba, 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 ba. Hey. Welcome to the tribe. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> That was the best way impersonation was of that, them all. Was that good? <laughs> he killed that shit. Yo. No. He actually says that. Yeah, that's what I say. I know. I know. That's I know. What Come on, man. I know. Damn, you make my voice sound rich and crisp and clear. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could do one of these animated films. 
All right, go ahead, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Why was it silent after you said no, that? Was not, I, you can, Sway. Thank you, Chris. You can. <laughs> These haters in the room. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Sean. Sean, <laughs> y'all, y'all everything. I'm not gonna. Y'all not monolithic. Y'all haters too. Uh, Sean. Sean, what's your? Yes, sir. This is your moment. Go ahead, Chris Pratt. Go ahead. Sir. Yeah, it wasn't really much a question, man. I'm calling from Atlanta, so I was just pretty much calling to give Chris his flowers. Uh, I had the privilege of working on uh, Tomorrow War with him a few years back. Pretty featured role as a as an extra. Uh, so he was the consummate professional, man. Him and Sam Richardson, uh, Edwin Hodge, and all those people, man, just cracking jokes in between takes. A lot of long hours on that set, man, so they kept it loose. and So, yeah, man, that was pretty much it, man. Just give him love here from Atlanta. When he's back here filming again, man, you know, it's much appreciated. Oh, dude, thank you so much, man. Yeah, we had a good time down there. That was wild. We turned Atlanta into the future and, and filled it with aliens, and they yeah. killed them all. Did you, <laughs> Sean, did you die? Yeah, did man, you get was, eaten by an alien? Yeah, I was one, I was nice. one of the initial jumps people or whatever and i got killed immediately <laughs> I'm, i am about 280 man so my gravity is isn't the best so uh yeah, <laughs> yeah i like that yeah because yeah. in the movie we get we get pulled up into this time portal thing and then drop down onto our onto our yeah. uh, faces so you were doing the wire work with us then in the in the in the uh oh, no no i was just um you know, right at the beginning, or towards the beginning of the movie, when they're gathering everybody, getting ready to, yep. I guess, give our marching orders type of thing yep. before we got jumped. So, yeah. Nice. My oh, man, yeah, Sean. Man. Congrats yeah. on all the success, man. And, you know, we love you here in Atlanta, bro. And, you know, we come back, man. And, you know, you're like a honorary citizen to you. Oh, return, so. dude thanks so much it means a lot yeah i've spent a, i've spent more time in atlanta in the past 10 years than i have in los angeles so <laughs> wow. so i i feel like uh yeah i feel like a an honorary citizen so thank you for that dude hey sean man appreciate you man you keep going sean yes sean you you, yes, you, you, you appreciate y'all yeah, man, man. Y'all sean, morning, sean. Man. You know, i've been listening to y'all for years my man Whenever y'all come to the a man y'all gotta you know, a teacher of the city as well, so, you know, Magic City's got your name. Hey, oh, shit, yeah. damn, Magic, Magic City. City. <laughs> okay, all right. Can, can I bring Chris? <laughs> hey, come on. Okay, all right. Mom. I'm not in the, back in L.A., man. Okay. No, he's home. happy. He has a happy home life. I'm not taking him to Magic City. <laughs> yeah. He's fine. All right, Sean. I can't believe you suggested that. You're a citizen, though, Sean. Morning. All right, cool. All right, all right, have right, a good one, man. Chris, Chris Pratt, we got to hang out, brother. What's Magic City? <laughs> Whole lot of it's strip club. Oh, it's a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like I'm, I'm so dumb. I'm like, I didn't know they called Atlanta Magic City. <laughs> that makes sense. Go. It's a magical city, I suppose. <laughs> no, no, you're talking about you uh, strip club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah no, I but no, 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 clear. but great food. Great food? It's the, oh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. Bro, oh, I'm trying to tell you, Chris Pratt. Chicken really? wings, bag I kid mm, you yeah. not. They got great mm. thighs. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ew. Bam. Take that AI. Yeah. AI did do that. <laughs> Chris Pratt. Thank you, man. Dude, it's so for nice coming to, to see you. us again, man. Yes. It really is a good time when you come here. Oh, like, yeah. Let me. Let me. Yeah, I always gotta do. Okay. <laughs> eye to eye. My brother, appreciate you. Thank you for coming yeah. by. It's an awesome you. time every time yes, you do. You're, you're an anom anomaly. Yes. Oh man. I've been in the business a long time. <laughs> <laughs> I met a lot of people, man, yeah. but honestly, we yeah. haven't met many like you. Yeah. And, and, and stay the course, brother. You, Thank you so you much. You deserve man. everything you get. Um, the Garfield movie is out when, DB? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Make sure you go see it. Anything we missed, Chris, you want to mention? Um, No, I don't think so. I Any? think, uh, yeah, Garfield opens tomorrow. Go see it. It's me, Sam, Samuel Jackson. And a whole bunch of other amazing, uh, talented voice artists, and you know, the most widely circulated comic strip in the world is now a 90-minute feature film. There you yeah. go. Go wow. see it this weekend. Let's Woo! go, man! And that's, happy Memorial Day. That's my man, that's CP my Chris baby. Pratt, y'all. Yeah, you see that? It's the cat. Oh, oh. oh. Man, I missed that cat. There he goes. Yeah. <laughs> look at those eyes. Look at Perfection. that. Perfection. Yeah. Eyes look alike. Man. Everyone's favorite tabby. There you go. There he is. There you go. Come He's got on. those edible eyes. Yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. You in the edibles? You said? No. 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 Oh, 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 oh. My bad, man. My bad, Chris. Not my me, bad. Not me. Not me. Garfield is. <laughs> <laughs> you know he is. Edibles and lasagna. Look at these eyes. Look at these eyes. <laughs> no, look at my. Yo, Garfield ain't no. some edibles. That's what I'm saying. I'm sorry. I know that ain't a film company. I'm sorry, film company. All right. Amen. That's why he talks. Talk slow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's a cat.
All right, man. Okay. <laughs> we got uh, Patty LaBelle later on in the show. Patty LaBelle later on in the show in about 45 minutes. Okay, actually. Chris, have a beautiful day, man. Thanks, Bye, Bye, guys. Bye. Peace. Bye, guys. <laughs>